it's Michaela with your everyday woman uh, it's that time again where I get to show you the products I bought over the month of November and actually I've been doing the videos separately about products I've bought and products I've emptied out however I think I'm going to start doing them together just because I have a lot of other makeup videos that I would like to do so I'm going to go ahead and just do that instead and just see how that works out so let's go ahead and I didn't, this wasn't too big of a month Christmas is coming so I tried to kind of cut back a little bit on my makeup spending and more on buying Christmas gifts but I'm gonna go ahead and start here with this uh, it's called Lick it's a brand by Lick and it's like a their little crystal like powder or not crystal like powder but it's just very sparkly powder I don't know if you could see that there I have mine in the it's called Oh yeah, it's called the Lick Effects, and I have mine in the shade Angel. I honestly debated on just on even doing this one, because I really only tested it out a couple times. And I didn't really like it. It's supposed to be like an eye, lip, cheek, glitter. I almost thought it was comparable to the Cover FX Drops, just in a powder version. However, it really wasn't, you know, you... I just... It went, it goes everywhere, it makes a mess, it doesn't stay, and quite honestly, this is a huge bust for me. I mean, it was only $8, so I'm not, like, overly worried about the fact that I paid that much for it. However, it just was not my favorite. So, on to the next thing I bought, and this is my first time trying these, but I got two of the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. I, did. they were having a sale for, like, $10 a piece, so I went ahead and took advantage of that. But I got mine in the shade Liar, which is a nice pinky nude. And then I decided to get a more vampy kind of nude. And this is the shade 1993, which is just your more deeper kind of fall brown. And I have to say, I understand the hype around these. They're great. They're beautiful. This shade here, Liar, I think is my perfect nude. So I finally found that, and I'm so excited because I've been wearing this non-stop. Could be my new favorite lipstick, but who knows. And then this is great when I'm wanting something a little bit more deeper and fall-like. So, yeah, the hype is real. Buy these, especially if you can find them on sale. So, yes. And last but not least for our purchases, I went ahead and I bought the blush for the Tarte Nine Ways to Shine Blush Trios. Let me see if I can... I don't know how well these are going to swatch, but we're going to try it. But the first trio here, I have the shades. Sorry, they're like upside down, but like, so I have the shades Frosty, Sleigh Bells, and Shimmering. So I've, I've got one highlighter and two blushes. So there's Frosty, Sleigh Bells and shimmering and then for the next trio we have oops snow kissed prize and peppermint mocha so we're gonna swatch those right here snow kissed which is your highlighter prize and then Peppermint Mocha. And for our last trio, we have. Ah, not went open. We have NYE, which I'm not entirely sure what that stands for. Decked Out and Mistletoe. So let's go ahead and give these a good swatch. So NYE. Decked Out. And mistletoe. So overall, I think the idea behind these blush trios was that you separate them and you give them as gifts, or you can give them as one individual gift. Um, for me personally, when I give gifts, I prefer to keep the packaging on instead of separating them out. It just seems a lot more personable. What, well, baby? What are you doing? What? So yeah, it just seems a lot more personable. So I think the idea was that, you know, you have three different skin tones in here, which for me, I would rather have seen three different types of blushes. Like one could be a peach, another could be like 
nude blushes, like two peach blushes and a highlighter, and then the next one would be like peach, and then like the next one could be like your more muted kind of bronzier like nude blushes with the nude highlighter instead of three different ones um, because Mama. I can get away with Mama. wearing the blushes Mama. in this one if I use Mama. a light hand. Mama. What baby? But like I cannot get away with this Mama. highlighter unless it's Mama. on my eyes. Mama. So yeah, either that or I would have done like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter and maybe even separated these out into like different Mama. packaging. Mama. So yeah, without- no. Quit! Without! You stop. So, yeah, with that formula wise, it, I mean, it's not a bad formula by any means. However, I've tried better formulas. Like this one from Heart, I have mine in the shade Dazzle. This is the Amazonian Clay Blush. I really like it. And the formula is more true to the Tarte formula. However, this one here, I just, I felt like it was okay. Like I liked it. It stayed well. I didn't have a problem with it, but I wasn't like. This is their, you know, it was, I don't feel like it was like their signature formula by any means. I mean, but if you wanted to give it as a gift, I think it would be a great gift. You, you know, like I said, you can even separate them out if that's your thing. Uh, for me, it's not something I prefer to do unless it, I would be like, if my girls were like teenagers, I'd probably keep one to myself and give one to each of my girls. But unfortunately, they're not teenagers, so I'm not quite willing to do that. I've got other stuff for them for Christmas. So with that, uh, that is everything that I have for the month of November. However, stay tuned because I bought this Morphe palette um, on, I found it on sale so I thought I'd buy it and test it out. So stay tuned because we've got a swatches tutorial and review coming up on that. And so let's go ahead and get on to our makeup empties. Um, so I finished this Clinique Moisture Surge and I did do a review on this. I think this was in like July's Big Purchase Reviews, but I will link that below if you want to see my initial review. Upon finishing this, I can definitely see myself getting the full size. Um, the retailing price for this initially was $12 for the mini. I think the bigger one's like 30 to 50. I don't know, I'll have to double check on that. but. Yes, I recommend this. I think it does wonders. Put it under your moisturizer. It does wonders for your skin. It does wonders for your face as a whole. My skin was like top notch when I use this and I do have normal to dry skin running a little bit more on the dry side depending on like what time of the year it is. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. It will be worth your money. And this I finished, I'm calling it finished. There's still a little bit left but it's so dry that I really can't get any more product out. But this is the Tarte's Lights Camera, uh, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in, it's just a mini version. Uh, overall, not my favorite mascara. Here's the wand, by the way. Uh, not my favorite. I did actually buy this in like January with, with their little, they had like $30 sampler set and then you get a full size. So not my favorite one. Yeah, and there's like five of them. Anyway, now that I've trailed off a million times. Not my favorite mascara. I do like other formulas better. It smudges a lot. It's a very wet formula, so um, overall, I probably would choose, would probably skip over getting a full size, especially because I've got like a million other mascaras right now. But if I were to go back and get a different mascara or a new one, I would not choose this one. So um, those are the two makeup products I have finished for the month of November. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Um, and with that, I will catch you in the next video. God bless and bye guys.